good day or night. Today we're going to be talking about Dink Pate, a prospect who a lot of people seem to be pretty interested in, probably because he was kind of a mystery, played a little bit at G League Ignite. Um, honestly, can't think of off the top of my head where he's going, so I'm a bad YouTuber for that. But I know he's going somewhere next year, maybe another G League team, I think. But regardless, let's watch a little bit of Pate. We're going to do a little another Kashigi breakdown. Shout out, to, shout out to him. We're just going to watch the cut up, react to it. I have not seen this footage, so a bit of a live scout of sorts. Let's get 100 likes and I'll do another one of these live scout types. And I have seen Pate before, but it's been a while. So let's watch this game. And we're going to get a nice miss in transition here. I like the attempt with his left, I guess, at least. But yeah, not getting super high off of the ground there. I'm not a huge dink guy at this point. Um, but I'm definitely curious to see him next year. And then the, the shot is not looking great right here. Um, quite clunky. Very two-motion shot. He's a pretty good on-ball shooter. Like I, I believe he shot fairly well in pull-ups last year, and you can see how much smoother the the pull-up jumper looks, right? He's a much more comfortable and natural shooter on the ball than off the ball, which I think is pretty common for young guards. I would say more like that than the inverse, at least among the guys who play on ball. And that, that doesn't look that bad, even for like a late clock step back heave. The release definitely looks smoother. He could definitely probably add some more like strength and. Smooth out the energy transfer there to get the shots up more cleanly. But it's not bad overall. And some of the movement skills in transition are really nice. I love how we like this pickup move where he hard pounds to the right but steps back and kind of hops over to the left. Almost like a Euro step kind of. Beautiful move there. Love the movement skills. Um, certainly want to see Dink be able to do more of this stuff in the half court. Um, it's nice to see in transition, but you definitely want to see players be able to do that in the half court against, you know, set defenses and really nice step back there here. Pate, quick move, decisive. I think the, the off dribble shooting is definitely a plus. Um, the, the big pluses with him at this point are the off dribble shooting and some of the pick and roll playmaking, which hopefully we'll see in this game, but quick, decisive, tons of space created. That's an, that's a smooth shot. And again, the, the energy transfer, I think looked better on that one. It looked cleaner. But Pate does like to shoot a lot of these off dribble jumpers. That's kind of his thing on offense. He definitely struggles getting downhill at times, struggles in the paint in the half court for sure. Nice little bounce there, and he's going to get it back. And no, he's not a very above, like he's very below the rim as a finisher at this point. Um, he shows the ability to get up a little bit when he's like running full speed, but otherwise it can be a little tough for him. Another pretty smooth looking pull up. I like the 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 pull up volume at such a young age. The fact that he's a guy who's comfortable and willing to take a lot of pro level pull up jumpers and and make them at a decent clip with solid touch. Again, he's going to kind of dribble into a jumper here to smoothen it out instead of just catching and shooting. I think that's definitely his comfort zone as a shooter at this point, which is fine, not necessarily a bad thing. We're going to see Pate dribble into a little pull up again. Quick decision. Not really hesitating there. Kind of wish he would just take the catch and shoot three, to be honest. Um, but that's definitely not something he's comfortable with. So let's get into the passing and turnovers now. That section of the video. Once again, shout out Cash Shiggy. His channel is going to be linked as always. Nice entry pass there. Just kind of simply picking up the ball, wrapping it around. Giving Almanza a chance to score in the post. And he definitely is a pretty intriguing passer. Pate's height being, you know, clearly like six five, six, 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 seven. I don't I don't know exactly how tall he is, but that height combined with some pretty solid pick and roll some pretty solid pick and roll ability, excuse me, which hopefully we get in this video. But looks like yeah, this is not a great passing moment. His his vision and like decision making are certainly inconsistent as in the open floor, Pate dribbling up here probably has to pass it like around here but even then even then leonard's kind of in the window then really late sees this pass and just kind of throws it without reading the floor yeah it's not a not a great possession there there's a lot of that like decision making stuff but nice kick or i guess hit ahead there in transition a lot of transition for him which is always tough to project forward right because transition is just so many less variables it's not as common it's not really as valuable but Half court stuff is good, and anyway, Dink Pate with a couple like basic routine assists, just making solid decisions out of the pick and roll, um, slip to the pick and pop, ghost kind of play, all of this kind of easy basic point guard stuff. That's a really nice find that John Jenkins just cannot convert. Great, great timing, 
placement here. Really good job. Maybe could have thrown it a little further ahead, but good job making that bounce pass on the move, even though that looks like kind of like a learned read, right? M maybe something that um, like was drilled in. And now we're going to get to defense, which is certainly a work in progress from what I've seen, as it tends to be for most teenagers, especially in the G League and for this G League Ignite team. But let's see what we see in this game for Pate that time closing out. And I'm going to see him get a rebound here, I assume. he, he He's going to be really interesting to track because I do think there are very valuable skills in his height. Um, Would have loved to see him make an effort at the ball here if he's going to stunt, right? Like go and get a steal. He is very good on the like on the ball when he's getting into his pick and roll playmaking and his pull up shooting. See, there's a I guess better effort, but again, not the greatest like placement and timing there on these swipes and doesn't exactly look very quick. I'll say that. But there are some interesting traits. I'm just not sure if his traits are good enough as a pick and roll guy, a pull up shooter to justify like being an on ball creator because I'm not exactly sure what he does off the ball at this point largely because of the catch and shoot issues that we talked about in this video i guess solid low rotation just not very much honestly defense wise in this game not too much bad and not too much good here looks like we're gonna get something at this point yeah so the the timing and like the reactions and all that stuff just don't seem particularly great to me at least in this game right He's in decent position and probably should be able to get to this ball, but just feels like he's not really timing up his swipes very well. He's a little bit late and slow. And, you know, some of that is probably just experience, but also I think there's a feel component there. Um, all that stuff like timing reactions, pretty decent rotation here, but it's like a tad late, right? A, a great weak side rim protector would already be like in his slide to the block here, but Pay waits to, waits to start his slide until it's, pretty much kind of too late right this is when he really starts moving and this defender is unless you're like a crazy vertical athlete which pay is not he's a good vert he's like a pretty solid one but definitely not crazy or anything um so you can see that the team defense is going to be a a work in progress but that's the clip set guys um shorter video today but wanted to get some content out um i hope you are enjoying the, the content as always very excited for this next draft cycle and let me know who you want to see next